Yes, this is Dad and I. We're going to an hour of uh, worship tonight. Or maybe a half hour, maybe 15 minutes. Who maybe knows? 15 minutes of um, of our start of our fast, church fast this week. So, um, yeah, so everybody's going home and here we're going out. <laughs> yes, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Alrighty, it's around 9.30, 10 o'clock. Wow, you could really see the snow. I'm already pretty pleased that it's not even 10 p.m. on Sunday night, the 14th, and uh, we already got a solid two inches. When this day started, I was like, what you see is essentially what I thought we would get for the entire storm, if that. Uh, there were some serious doubts if we would see much in terms of snow. Uh, there were some concerns, but thankfully the trends were great today, and I uh, look forward to getting out with the kids tomorrow and playing. Don't look at it. Look what happened, Kaden. What happened? Yeah, you can throw a snowball at the camera. That's fine. Ah, Eileen! <laughs> Eileen, you got snow on your head. <laughs> she had to run in those now. That was actually not. All right. I to. We have about half a foot of snow on the ground. <laughs> and we're getting it all over inside, inside yeah. the house. All right, documenting for posterity. This is officially the biggest snow that I've seen in this part uh, since we moved here, August of 2017. Now there was a big snow here in January of 16, but um, we got a lot, a uh, lot more snow than we initially expected. This storm has completely overperformed and I didn't expect it to still be snowing. We still got snow. So we're gonna, I mean, if you stick the ruler in the ground, I mean, it comes down to, you know, and this is cut grass. Um, so not a lot of stickage out. I mean, it's a little over six, but closer to six than seven, I would say. Uh, the trespasses of last year, a year which no measurable snow fell for most Middle Tennessee. All's forgiven after this event. Working up to seven inches of snow currently. About six and a half on the ground, what you see. This is a win. This is a win for the weather record books. Uh, it is very rare to get a snow of this caliber. You're going to have to go back to 96, 2003, 2010, maybe 2016 for sure. Um, 2010 and 2011 were great winters back to back. We've had a lot of icy winters this decade, but we haven't really cracked. You know, we talk about the half foot it being a threshold. It is hard to reach that benchmark. So. Effie's just chilling. Here we go, Milo. You're doing great. Look, it's getting so cold. I'm going to beat you. Kane's okay, going to go down that one. Are you up there? Ooh. Yeah, you're doing great, buddy. Way to go. You're making some good tracks there. Mooch. <gasps> So it's about, I want to say 6 p.m. on Monday night, MLK Day, what a day. The MLK Day storm of 24 will be talked about for a long time. And I was telling someone on one of the forums, uh, for a lot of people in Middle Tennessee, in the Nashville metro area, and especially points south, uh, towards the Alabama state line. This is a top three or four snowstorm of the last, I mean, gosh, I would say the last 35 years. Going back to the 
infamous slider storm of uh, January 6th to 7th, 1988. A lot of people listening to this weren't even around here for that. I would say this is uh, this rivals the February 4th of 96. This is going to rival Jonas. January 22nd, 2016, you had uh, the... Uh, there was... um. Two gridlock storms. One was February 9th, 2011. We only had a couple inches of that. That was mostly a timing thing. And then uh, the one that I remember most fondly, but also um, gets the anxiety up, that's going to be uh, January 16, 2003. I was in high school at that time. And that was the first time I really saw a gridlock. First time I ever saw a policeman cry. First time feeling stranded at school for hours. I think school let out at nine. We didn't get home until three or four that afternoon. That was a common tale. That was an average occurrence for that day. And I don't miss that part, but certainly, um, and it's still flurrying. I mean, there's not, the, the atmosphere above is just like squeezing out moisture. I'm surprised it's still snowing when the radar returns are hardly showing anything. So my front yard is not smooth. It shows that there was life here today. We lived and we enjoyed ourselves even though it was frigid and we couldn't bear to be out much longer than, you know, 15, 20 minute increments. We're going out, this is day two. It's been 24 to 27 hours, careful. <laughs> this is why we're going sledding because there's been enough traffic on the snowpack. There's been some melting, daytime heating. It's, it's dusk, it's the perfect time to go because it's not like terribly cold yet. Look, Kaden, go down. I got her. <laughs> it is kind of hard to send. Like, you're really going to have to steer this. Uh-oh. Sonic <laughs> fell on the ice. I love Milo's Sonic. It's like you're walking the dog, but substitute younger sis on a sled. Oh. Look out, guys. I'm coming for you. Seeing how fast I'm going to get. Oh, my goodness. Look how I'm using my feet. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Ah! Help me. I'm, I'm going to crash. Ah! Oh! Oh. All right. This time, I'm doing the same thing, except Evie's on my back. Evie, you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this Oh, we're maybe started too high because the, the plane's not okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Got a kick. Evie, if you just feel uncomfortable, all you have to do is roll off, drag your feet. Actually, dad's going to control the sled with his feet because the, the sled is a little, this race is a little old. Hey, you, I can't believe she's actually kneeling on my back. Look at Milo. Hold on. Evie, it's going to get fast. You're going to want to hold on. In fact, I'm going to go. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! We're going so fast. Ah, you're going to want to fail. Oh! 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 We used the snow bank. This is exactly what we wanted to do. This is exactly what we wanted to do. Whoa! Yeah! We did it. Oh, that was an epic sledding adventure. All right, well, the vanilla twilight has begun, and uh, there's something pretty magical about a clear night on top of snowpack just because you have the starry twinkling action going up as the universe declares its glory, right? Then you got the dark night and then the white ground contrast. Um, so I'll probably do another walk later tonight, but I love the pinks with the sunset on top of the snowpack. Pretty awesome. Our vanilla and our little bit of sea salt to bring out that vanilla. Beams, this one's, this one's for you. Yeah, here we go. We've had snow on the ground for three or four days, so this is well fermented. <laughs> I found a... Wasn't it extra hard to get it out because of the ice yeah, lays on top? It really... I found a spot that wasn't like that. Oh, really? Cool. That's why it I was like... looks like mashed potatoes. Yeah, it does. Seasoned. 
mashed potatoes with maybe I some brown butter. I hope I didn't get too much because like some of my... You want to put some sprinkles on this, some whipped cream? Uh, we have whipped cream. Yeah. Hey, this is Maybe. the fourth time you've been doing this. Yeah. Smush it. Smush it. So, Evie behind me has made a family of mittens and is role playing with those family of mittens. But I will not show her because she is in her underwear. All right, bring me the cup right over there, Kaden. You want to get it to like shaved ice. Any, pick one. Just bring me one. Here. That's sort of like the I'll texture you want. Uh, here's our lovely home in White Bluff. This is Papa CJ. And a whole week starting tomorrow. Yeah. Um I I wanted to help Kaden document here. So we've lost like half the snowpack that we had Monday night. There's been sub sublimation, which basically means we've had the, the, the times we've had direct sunlight in recent days. Even though temps have been below freezing pretty much all week. The sun has been able to um not evaporate, but basically burn off the snow and ice pack. Dad, and so, I didn't realize we see how it burned off on the, uh, off the the angled portions of our yard. It's received more we sunlight. Have a really so. big snowball out in the back. Solid to guess sublimation. Solid. All right. Um, what makes this? current snowpack so weird and like pretty much unplayable in is because there's actually like a tenth of an inch of uh i'd say a roughly tenth of an inch of ice a freezing rain accumulation on top of the snow so you have to you know with your gloved hand pierce through the glass <laughs> the glass the ice <laughs> but it feels like glass sometimes because it's like a, you can get cut off um this setup it's very reminiscent to what happened in january 2010 before the sky was even a tear in my eye where you had snow and ice on top, which is the worst. You'd much rather have ice and then snow on top of it. Sledding conditions have been very favorable. A lot of secondaries here are still very uh, unsafe to drive on, I guess. Uh, very much, uh, you know, skating rinks. But the primaries are doing better. It's actually a cool time of day to cut a video because the through the camera, like the dusk actually captures the sun light. On the horizon or the sun setting on the horizon so you have more of a gradient through the lens than actual yep 